Here is a simple circuit I have created which demonstrates the function of pull up and pull down resistors. First, just place a magnet over the reed switch to let current pass through it. And as you can see, the green LED lights up. Now when I press the button, it switches over to the red LED and the green LED turns off. When I release it, vice versa. Now how this works is fairly simple. I'll go through the schematic and show you step by step how everything works. Right here is the push button switch. So when it's closed, current is flowing from the input, which is plus 5 volts, through the red LED, through the resistor, to ground. Now this lights the red LED, and the resistor right here is for the purpose of limiting voltage across the red LED. Now above it, there's a pull down resistor. And the purpose of this is for the MPN transistor, when this switch is open, it's not floating. I'll go over floating later, but for now, let's just go to the green LED. So when the switch is open, there is no current to the base of the MPN transistor, and that lets current flow directly from the plus 5 volts of the pull-up resistor through the green LED to ground. But when the switch is closed, voltage flows through the base, allowing current to go from the collector to the emitter, and the voltage from the plus 5 volts goes through the pull-up resistor to the emitter instead of passing through the green LED. Now as for floating, that is an issue when there is no pull-up or pull-down resistors. So if I remove both these resistors, the pull-down and the resistor for the LED right here, and let's say I just put in a wire right here. You can see that the switch is open and the MPN transistor is currently floating. Going back to the schematic, you can see I removed this resistor here and this one here along with the LED. So right here this is floating when the switch is open. Now what this means is the voltage across or to the base of the MPN transistor is unknown. It could be 5 volts, it can be 0 volt, volts for all I know. But right now we can tell that it's below the activation voltage for the MPN transistor since the green LED is on. But let's say I took one finger, touched this node, and another, and I touch the plus 5 volts, the LED goes off. Because the voltage across it is currently high enough to activate the MPN transistor. But if you notice, a couple seconds afterwards, the voltage balanced out back to ground, and the MPN transistor opened up again. This ambiguity makes it necessary to put a pull-up or pull-down resistor in place. Now with the pull-up resistor in place, the base of the NPN transistor is no longer floating. Before when I touched my fingers to both the ends of the nodes, the light switched because the base was floating. But now, because there's a pull-up resistor in place, when I touch my fingers to both the ends of the nodes, the LEDs no longer switch. And that's basically all there is to it, to pull up and pull down resistors.